Hello friends, what's up and welcome back to Travel Tech. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the 70mm M300 and the DDPi Mola N3 Pro front dash cameras. We are going to go ahead and compare the video footage quality of both these dash cameras, both the day footage and the night footage. And along with that, go ahead and show you the license plate readability of both these dash cameras. So after you watch this video, you will be in a better position to decide which of these two dash cameras you should go ahead for. So guys, before we proceed further in the video, a special request from me to you guys. Your support is extremely important to me. And if you'd like to extend that support to me directly, go ahead and hit that super thanks button right down below the video, right next to the download button. You will find four different denominations. You can go ahead and select any of these four denominations and support travel tech. So now that being said, let's go ahead and move on further down and watch how the 70mm M300 compares with the DDPi Mola N3 Pro front camera and which is the best dash cam for you. So let's get started. So guys, as you can see, I have placed both the dash cameras side by side with the DDPi Mola N3 Pro and the 70mm M300. Now I'm going to go ahead and take footage of both day and night times and show the comparison footage to you guys and also along with that the number plate readability as well. So let's go ahead and watch this video. So guys, this is the first footage and this is of the DDPi Mola N3 Pro. Now this dash camera offers a really good video quality and let's just go ahead and zoom in on the number plate. So as you can see, the numbers and the letters are clearly visible and this is the kind of video camera or the dash camera which you should be having in your car. So now let's just go ahead and uh, try out the 70mm M300. So as you can see, the picture quality is a bit overexposed. And if we just go ahead and zoom in on the number plate, you can see some sort of a pixelation near the rear bumper of the car. The numbers are also still legible, but they are not as good as available in the DDPi Mola N3 Pro dash camera. So guys, here is the side-by-side -side comparison of the zoomed-in photograph of both the cameras. So as you can see, the DDPi Mola picture quality is a bit slightly better than the 70mm M300. Not to say that the 70mm M300 is bad, but the DDPi Mola N3 offers a higher resolution count and because of that, the exposure levels are really good. Now, as you can see, this is the comparison video, a daytime video of the DDPi Mola N3 Pro and the 70mm M300. Now, I have stacked them together so that you guys can easily watch this video and try to find some differences and try to find the differences in video quality and the picture quality. But as far as I can tell you, the DDPi Mola N3 Pro offers a slightly better video quality and the exposure levels, the saturation levels and the contrast levels are very much natural in the DDPi Mola N3 Pro dash camera. The 70mm M300 is good on its own terms, but there is a, some sort of a variation in the contrast levels and the exposure levels. So now coming on to the night footage of these two dash cameras, also just like in the day footage, the DDPi Mola N3 Pro actually excels in the night footage when compared to the 70mm M300. There is some sort of a pixelation and a noise you can see in the video of the 70mm M300. Not that it's too much, but there is a very minimum noise in it. But the DDPi Mola N3 Pro has very less noise, almost nil noise and the video quality is also excellent. Now it may be difficult to read number plates in the DDPi Mola N3 Pro as well because of the higher exposure levels but nevertheless the whole picture quality, the video quality is really excellent and this camera really excels at giving you that perfect night footage. So guys, till now you just saw the comparison of both the dash camera videos side by side and also separately and also along with that you watch the license plate readability of both these dash cameras. The final decision should come to the point of what is your maximum budget. So if you have a budget you can extend to 7999 or more. I think the DDPi Mola N3 Pro is the perfect dash camera for you at that price point. But if your budget is limited and if you want to spend less than 5000 rupees for a dash camera, I think 70mm M300 will do a good job for you. So in the end the decision comes down to your budget because in terms of technical specifications and in terms of picture quality and the video quality, the DDPi Mola N3 Pro fares better than the 70mm M300. 
Now this was the comparison video of both these dash cameras and you are watching this only on Travel Tech. And guys, if you like this video and if you like the effort which has gone behind in making this video, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. And also along with that, do not forget to hit that super thanks button and contribute towards supporting this channel. That is very, very important to me. Also guys, along with this, if you're interested in checking out some other dash cameras for your car and other interesting car accessories, you can go ahead and check out the nextdigitron.com website. They are the authorized sales and service partners for 70My and DDPi. All products you purchase will have one year warranty and also be eligible for service request since they have a dedicated service center located at Pune. I recommend you to go ahead and check this website out. So thank you guys for watching and until next video, see ya.